Hello. I'm Enter Elysium. And Chicken Keeper. And HOC Gaming. And this is Kerbal Space Program Multiplayer. Welcome to the final episode. The final Hello. episode! It's here! It is upon us. We decided to tackle something rather difficult. Of jetpacks. Indeed. Mm. This is launching and hearing. Oh, there you are, Hawk Pack. Oh, you below me? Yes. Bow, chicka, bow, 150 wow. meters away. <laughs> It hasn't only it hasn't even been a minute and Lysium's already gone bound chicken wow wow. If you think about thirty seconds, so I'm doing fairly well. Uh, yes, we have jetpacks in today's episode and we are going to be yes. just flying and messing around and perhaps putting them to other uses. We will we've never out. done this before. No. No we haven't. Except I still can't see either of you. I'm heading towards the VAB. We're gonna land on top of the VAB, right? That is like the, today's yeah, okay. mission. Alright. Okay. We will you meet up with the VAB. Me. I'm like right here. No, no, I still can't. If we go to the VAB, then... I can see both of you. Oh, I can see you now. I can see you. I can see you. Vlad, Vlad is getting very low. Vladimir. Yes, this will be good, I think. Provided Let's we don't land. collide with each other and end up cloning ourselves. You've said it. Why <laughs> yeah, say I've it? cursed. I've cursed the video already. <laughs> I think Vlad stands for vertical landing and... Or vertical lift of breaking demolition. and something. And demolition, there you go. Vertical lift of breaking and demolition. <laughs> and then you have Jeb pack and I have Hawk pack. Let's zoom. And I Oops. am beautifully Dead. landed. Oh. And no. I am oh, not quite so beautifully landed. Careful. <laughs> now, the problem with jetpacks is you can ah. still ragdoll Kerbals out of their seat, and the problem is. It doesn't my recognize Kerbal the Kerbal leaving the seat, so it turns them into a part and they become unusable. Mm. Yeah, my Kerbal is standing now. He's, like, doubled up. <laughs> to me, <laughs> it looks like you're bouncing in and out of the helicopter pad surface. Hold on, I'm just going to... Um... Oh, Harv's gone the same system as me for the giant reaction oh. wheel. Ah. Oh. Name. I... Oh, well, it works. It's a good system. Yeah. Uh, if I just turn that Take way... that. And then... Because it means that you don't have to get your center of thrust directly aligned with your center of mass, because it just... Chris, you what are you couple. doing? <laughs> Bye, Chris. Bye. Hey, there we go. I'm oh, nice. he lives! He lives! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I saw you go off the edge and thought you were dead, and then you just flew up. You rose from the ashes. Ah, uh, yeah. Half, can you get any closer? I will, yeah. Right, I'm on my way. We've, even got, we've got very similar things, haven't we? Mine's a more, a more refined design, I think. Oh, yeah, sure. I've got four engines. Yeah, you built... Well, to be honest, you built yours in the last five minutes. I spent last night building mine, so I've got, like, a few a few additional things. You spent the entirety spent, of last night. I spent about half an hour building mine. I, I spent a lot more than half an hour. and some RCS ports, and those are the main differences. Yep, but the RCS ports are important. No, oh, really? Important? But do Yeah, important. And there is a Vlad to come to land on me. Oh, bow, chicka, bow, wow. Maybe it's you. Oh, yeah, he touched you, nearly. <laughs> he touched you. Okay. Can you, touched can you back off a bit? I need space to get my Kerbal out without risking Ragdoll. Personal space. Alright, leave seat. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to slide along with it. I have Edam Kerbin. I know his name is Eden, but I'm going to call him Edam because it tastes better. Mm. <laughs> and there Hello. we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ow. Oh, can I turn my lights on? Oh, no, bounce, on. bounce. Pants. Oh yeah, a couple time. <laughs> Let's dance with the Kerbals. You can dance if you there wanna. There, 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 there. You can leave your friends behind. But if you can't Kerbal, then you can't Kerbal, and you're no Kerbal of mine. Yeah, well, well for So who's going to be the first to spontaneously explode? <laughs> and this is it. This is the final episode of... Uh, oh, of oh you ragdolled me. You ragdolled me. Player. Do you reckon <laughs> we should address the, issue, address the issue being that we are ending the series? Or should we just say, yeah, we're ending it. We're ending the series because it's buggy as hell. <laughs> but yeah, I think DMP needs a little bit further to go before we can reliably make a series it's, without yeah. everything dying all DMP, the time. DMP, for me, is fantastic for dancing. A oomch, oomch, oomch. It's a technical it's also, feat of genius. It's a good laugh. It's a technical feat of genius. It's just not good enough for stable, serious missions. It's getting there, though. It is it's really getting, getting there. Especially so, when yeah, you absolutely. can't, like, you know, we, super we might, quick save, etc. in a video. Yeah. If it gets, like, really, really, really stable, then... Yeah. Hmm. So, out, but, uh, should we have a look at each other's crafts? Right, no. We'll go with Elysium's first, then. 
<laughs> oh, <Mine>. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, mine, uh, mine's a, a British oh. Leyland, and it's uh, it's got a two liter engine. No. I see you've both gone for the paraglider approach. Oh yeah, I kind of <laughs> I was practicing with balancing the uh, the engines around and stuff, but then I decided you it was put much Mech easier. on it. You put Mechjeb on. Yeah, it. he put Mechjeb on it so that he can land just using the auto. Yeah, I can front. just tell Mechjeb to land me and it lands. So I don't have to worry about that's, crashing. That's way too easy. Yeah, it is. I agree. <laughs> yeah, moving no, on. It's Chris's. just called being inventive and using what you're given. I've also Chris, got vernier mean? engines that provide me with lateral thrust, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I can yeah, actually easily yeah. move around without having to angle myself. Yeah, that's Oops. nice for you. That's nice for you. And I've got a thrust to rate ratio of 1.4. Yeah, my thrust to weight ratio is almost three. It's it's composed of about I think eleven parts and is by far the smallest here. And it flies like a dream. I it must really admit, does. it is pretty amazing. Although to be fair, you can only fly in sunlight, can't you? Because <laughs> you're like a vampire. I just got ten. Except ten the reverse parts of a vampire. Plus the double. and it also weighs like point three two tons, which is almost half of what he's weighs. Yeah, mine with a kerbal. Half half. With a kerbal weighs about five point four something. Mm. Yeah, and mine over here. Oh, mine, mine can sunlight. fly in non in no sunlight, um, just not for quite as long. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's one of the main reasons I really started going bigger is that I wanted a thermal isotope generator so I could fly in the dark. Oh yeah, I've got one onto the back. How many fuel tanks do you have? You have just one, which means that mine is probably the heaviest. Yeah, you, well, because we because of normal size, uh, just using the fuel in the fuel tanks would take you. We wouldn't be able to fly for very, very long. Uh, we've, we're going to use infinite fuel. Yes. So yeah. half yeah. your extra tank is completely useless. I know, I know. It does help balance out the weight of the Kerbal, <laughs> really? though. You don't really yeah. need to balance yeah. out the weight of the, weight of the Kerbal when you're using the paraglider approach. Well, Also, strange. you've got an insane thrust rate ratio because you've gone for four engines. Four engines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to get that acceleration. Like, I deliberately chose lighter engines earlier. I was like, no, I need to change my engines to make them lighter because otherwise you end up powering too much and you just go crazy distances with uh, such a small craft. Anyway, what should we do now? Um, let's just <gasps> we sort should of test fly. our maneuverability. You know the science centre? It's got that bridge thing. Yeah, we should fly, <laughs> fly under the, the bridge. bridge. Yeah, okay. Under the bridge downtown, that's where I drew some blood. I can't remember the lyrics. Where I drew some blood? <laughs> I know, it's See, You're it's thinking weird, of like, Vlad, aren't you, Vladimir? Vlad, it's your, your craft has made me think about that. Vlad the Impaler. Vlad oh, the Impaler. I may have forgotten to Make set the probe core as control from here. One oh, second. Well Problem solved. <laughs> Ooh, um, there's two bridges, actually. There's the one that's actually yeah, in let's the go building. Yeah, let's both of them. Yeah, let's go through both of them. Uh, actually, if you'll just hover near it so that I can catch up with you, Chris. Yeah. I can see Elysium flying off in the distance. The one nearest to us right now. This one? Oh, yeah, this really small, small one? Yeah, really small. Oh, God. Wow. We, I have, we have, I have too much thrust. Jesus. Yeah, that's why. You need to thrust limit all four engines. That's why I chose to go smaller engines. I will. I'll do that. I'm going to land down there with you, and then I'll... Uh... Oh, that's going through. And that has gone for it. I'm trying to get my thrust in the right spot, but it's hard. I really wish I put vernier engines on the top and bottom. Hmm. I'm gonna need to land. And under the second bridge. Under the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, thrust limit. So I'm going to limit it to half of what it currently is. Then. You mean half? <laughs> A half, but on Tish. Whoa. Fifty point five. So I had to do an emergency throttle there because um, I may have almost crashed. <laughs> See, mine requires skill. The second, yeah. the second bridge is easy. The first bridge is the hard one. Yeah, we'll try the first. I did that with ease. <laughs> brag, 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 brag. <laughs> <laughs> now this this thing it, it was tricky to build because um because I'm only using the reaction wheels of the probe core and it's so tiny balance was everything yeah so I, I was holding making sure it was balanced probably it's still very 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 slightly imbalanced I was all direct regardless flight. of balance really and I'm through well done nice uh how about we try and land on something a little bit harder then like the flagpole. <laughs> no, the comms um, tower. The tower. space plane hangar. Yes, the comms tower. tower. All right. I'm just going to have to go through this one. It's first. not comms, it's control tower. 
Oh yeah, yeah. whatever. Whatever. We don't need your control details. Control requires comms. So. Yeah. This is true. This is true. It's a very, a very astute point there, my good man. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Where have you gone? How close are you to it? I'm directly above it. Oh, I can see Vlad making its I'm way just over. Uh, on my way. Mm. I'm on my way. For misery, to happiness today. today. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Copy yeah, I've improved strengths. a lot now that I've limited my throttle somewhat. So, um, where's a good place to land on this thing? Right in the center of it. I think that's kind of taken up by antennas. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, but there might be a little bit of room. Oh, for one, there might be room for one of us. I'm coming in. He's coming in hot. He's coming. Put your heart in your cold, yes, your... That's a terrible song. <laughs> you're in, then you're out, you're up, then you're down. No, I refuse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, That was a dive bomb, that was. That yeah. wasn't a landing. I survived. I've touched it, I win. I really wish I had Vernier Angels on the top and bottom. I might go back to the space plane hangar, uh, not the space plane hangar, the VAB, and uh, do that. Alright, I'm gonna Winning line up. What we say, like, touching is, is our criteria for winning, right? Criteria. Ah, this is, I think, where you went wrong and why that's you have some, that's that some criteria for winning. Oh. Where did I go wrong? Not <laughs> using Mexico. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Master oh. friend. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> that's I'm on. I'm on. Really? I'm never, I'm never gonna yep. be able to go on that. I, I can't. I can't look, it. but I'll. I'll believe you, and I want to have a look at this. But I'm. Oh God, no! 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 Careful! Please don't smash into me. <laughs> oh, oh, too fast! Too fast! Oh, I kind of nearly landed. Close. It was close. Just gonna try and skid forward a little bit. Mm. I can't. I've trapped myself in there. There we go. The thing is, the um, you might actually be better off with not having this torque module because it it's so sh uh, juddery. <laughs> it's so sh yes, juddery. Yes, I'm landed. <laughs> I just dropped the last couple of meters. Oh god, I'm last now. <laughs> ah. I think you Good need enough. to be renamed to Captain Slow. I think Chris is losing the title. Yeah. I'm the James May of the group. I like the fact that because you're not on landing legs, uh, Chris, you're just jumping up and down. Your curve looks really excited. <laughs> Actually, yours was jumping up and down anyway. Uh, it is. It is now jumping up and down. Really? It, yours is slightly juddering for me. Well, as in it's like vibrating, but not jumping up and down. Ooh, ooh vibrating. Here comes yeah. Harv. Oh, God. I've got Harv all excited now. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, easy. Oh. I'm on. That's not very of, stable. I was on. Freaking. I will survive. Go. I'm on. I will survive. Down here. Yes, you're down there. I'm uh, on down here. Hey. Uh, well, that's mission two accomplished. Okay, can we think of another mission that we could do with these? Um, one more challenge. Uh, one final challenge. No, no, more than one challenge. We can do it like a couple more. Oh, come on. The water tower. Short and sweet. Oh no, the um the island runway. Land on the top of that. <laughs> island runway. Okay, yeah. go. <laughs> okay, oh crap. Are we going? Right. Yep, we're going. I will win this one. The secret is to get to altitude first. Oh I shouldn't have limit I should have taken off the thrust limit, so I would have easily won. <laughs> now I'm slower. <laughs> I'm gonna try and take it off in flight. My torque module isn't too. Vlad is going. Wow, Vlad is accelerating. What? <laughs> I told you I have like an almost three meters a second thrust to weight ratio, and I do not weigh much. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now I have even better. One hundred. One hundred. Thrust to weight ratio. Yeah. Yeah. I deliberately made my jetpack <laughs> slow, so I'm gonna suck at this one. Oh, I see you. I think I might come in second. Jetpack. Where are you, Harv? I'm just flying over Jebpack. Over me? Oh, I can oh, see. Damn it, he's going it's pretty damn fast. You've gone out of load range. I can't see Chris, no. 
guns are you? Yeah, I'm at a load range now. Okay, I'm approaching the tower. This is gonna go horribly wrong, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, I, I think I might actually be crashing. I'm dropping. Oh gosh, there you go. I'm dropping too fast. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm dead. My cable's alive. Oh no, oh, this is your cable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Harv loses the challenge, and I come I in second the if I don't die. Well, I'm not dead yet. It's, do, do, do you know what the stupid thing is, actually? The reason I can't oh, yeah, is because I turned on thrust limiting. So I didn't have enough thrust to pull out of the uh, full as I was turning it on. <laughs> I'm trying to cut your throttle. Actually, no, I don't want to listen to win. I'll stop to listen to it. Cutting throttle. Is it not doing anything? No. I'm inside the tower. I've fallen down the tower. <laughs> What exploded? <laughs> oh, my Kerbal just just died. That was Chris. What oh. just happened? My, I'm still in control of my jetpack, though. <laughs> nah, the Kerbal died doesn't count. Elysium is the victor by default. Oh, no! My Kerbal's in the tower! Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. He lives. He's now a part, and he looks like he's doing some sort of weird pose. He's not a Kerbal, though. He's wins. petrified. First he was afraid, he was petrified. Yeah, I win, though, because I'm here. Yes, so. Chris wins. Ah. Oh, but the stretch goal, the stretch goal. Which is? I'm coming into the tower. Yeah, Chris has already done that. Oh, but as a Kerbal, with a jetpack, properly landed, not exploded. <laughs> I can just see Chris's <laughs> module just lying there on the stairs. Oh, oh, you bumped on the side for me. Oh. No oh, more explosions. I can't see anything because my game is. Whoa! Oh. Oh, okay. Looks like Elysium lost my Kerbal off. Because my Kerbal just spazzed. Everything nope. froze and no, my Kerbal I haven't lost spazzed. anything. It's all good. Yeah, oh, yes, you see that. You're rubbing up against the side of the tower. You're yeah, going to hit the lift at the top. Thing as Chris. Your Kerbal is non existent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see what I saw? What? what? Why am I dropping? <laughs> Why am I dropping? <laughs> Death. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you, Harv? Uh, I don't know, I hope so. It's, I saw I saw E without the SAS unit or the Kerbal just suddenly shoot up and smash into the top of the tower. Then he reappeared, smashed into the ground, and now he's on the floor. Uh, I think we're <laughs> done. I think we're done with this. Oh, whoa, what? Suddenly my engines are working again. Before, I would like drop like a stone, and suddenly my engines are working. Uh, give it up. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Your Kerbal is, give it is up now. out of his seat. <laughs> he thinks he's skydiving. Okay, I will take second. I'm spectating you now. Yep, I'm because I can't asked. actually control my jetpack anymore, but I still want. I've lost in all regards. I would love actually, to actually try and get inside. Oh, one last attempt. I'm right next to the tower, actually. Ah, oh, look at the screenshot I sent. Oh. Um. Oh, uh, by the way, E, go for one of the corner windows. They're wider at the top. God damn it! I wish I knew that. Or not. And for some reason, my engines have cut out again. I'm just gonna land next to the thing You've and explored. be like, "Yep, end, end." Didn't get through a window. We'll do it again. It's possible. Well, there we go. And I can see uh, Chicken Keeper's <laughs> Kerbal dancing. Yeah, he's, he's pulling some sort of a pose. <laughs> <laughs> You're very no Kerbal pose. of mine. It's a very uh, sexy pose. Anyway. Yeah. So, sexy what Kerbal. else? What can we do with these off Kerbin? What, where can we explore, do you think? Ooh, I have somewhere... the so, somewhere with idea. A t somewhere with a tunnel, because we like going somewhere, through Yeah, things. somewhere narrow. Somewhere with a... An innuendo in its name. You hit it first. These two like being in narrow things. What? what no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got the perfect off, idea. You do this. Tunnels. Fade to black. So, god damn it, half! Stop exploding. I'm not exploding. It's your imaginary <laughs> ma imagination. Well, there are, there are now it's three half rovers. They're actually piling up. Like there is a legit pile of your uh, your jetpacks. Yeah. Should we move away from this location? Well, we've got the mohole um, nearby, which is what we came to see, so... Yes, yeah. we, we have that giant, horrible-looking hole that you yes, can't actually see. we found show, something long and narrow. Um, shall we time up until the sun's a bit higher? Or will the sun not get any higher? The sun doesn't get, get higher. We're on the pole. It'll just move around. I know. It's and Harv's like gone again. <laughs> shall we, how about we actually have a competition? We'll see who can get the lowest down the mohole. Before we die. Before we yes. all die. That sounds good. I'm guessing halves. it's going to be Chris, because he's the smallest. Yeah, we will see. Okay, I'm going to launch. That's the one. There we go. In the air. Yay. I also have pink lights. And you have blue lights. And Chris has no lights. 
Yeah, Chris couldn't really get lights on because uh, it would change his balance, whereas we had uh, reaction wheels, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> Mine was matter. designed a bit too um, precisely, so I can't change it. It also means that you have to have a kerbal of a very specific weight. Mm. <laughs> Not I love like the fact that all the kerbals the are starved and fed until they're exactly the same weight in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> it's a very, uh, it's a very hardcore NASA program. Very hardcore. Yeah, that is okay, a then. really menacing looking hole. Yeah, it's and really I cool. have enabled uh, thrust limiting on my craft. Oh, congratulations. So, so I'm actually got, and I've got a vernier engine on the top and bottom, so I have incredibly <laughs> fine control, which is really good. Yeah, I, also, I don't quite have that fine control, but... Also, because of my solar panel, I periodically have to just very slightly tilt towards the sun to recharge my battery. <laughs> it's fine, I can do that, but it's... No, you can't during during the descent, you really can't. Descending! Right, it's only while, because I'm draining like 0 0.03 hours. Oh, there you go, descent, you're just dropping. So. You're just hard dropping. No, I'm vernier engine. vernier engine. Right, I'm just dropping. I'm dropping as well. I can go faster than drop by using a vernier engine. The problem is the fast. camera. Because this is directly at the pole, the camera's going to twist around us. But yeah, that's the um, tricky thing. Hmm. It's actually not doing it yet. Because I, I have, I, I must confess, I have done this with a Kerbal before. Oh, I have just, as well. My, ca my camera is turning. Actually, who My has? camera is turning and I'm getting <laughs> very dizzy. Yeah, when you get near the bottom. It, um... oh. oh my god, I'm so dizzy. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, mine's fine. I'm pointing directly down at the ground, so... Maybe it's the orientation of your probe core. Which way is yours? Straight up? Well, it looks like I'm going up, but I'm actually still descending. Oh, yeah, it's because okay. Mech Jeb. Mech Jeb. Mech Jeb <laughs> is pointing... Oh, that would be why. Oh, I'm going to chase camera view for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't want this. Free. Whoa. You're two kilometers away, Jeb Pack. I might stay near the wall. Really? I'm already two kilometers so down. Where I am. I'm I'm net level with you at the moment, and now my camera's turning as well. Yeah, I'm not that. Um, I'm rising actually. Far away. I'm rising, I think now as well. It's really hard because the camera is turning and it's not Mech Jeb. It's, okay, it's I know the camera. how to fix this though. I know I know how to stop the camera turning. Oh, uh, which which mode do you switch to? Chase. It does. It does. It is a oh, bit uncomfortable. Yes. Oh my god, it is you really uncomfortable. Oh, but uh, it'll work. It'll work. No, I'm going to switch back to free, I think. Now, the I reason that I went first is because I'm fairly like large and I'm going to block the thing so that I'll get the lowest. Oh, god damn. I can't control this. And Chase. Chase camera does not work for me. I started going back up again. This is why I have mech well. for my extra data. I'm flying off data. I'm not flying by eye. It's actually harder than you'd think it would be, isn't it? Yeah, if the camera didn't keep rotating. We did improve to chase camera mod. No, You'd get really seasick with that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so seasick right now. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I'm actually And because of the, the way highest. the textures are stretched around me, it feels like I'm tripping. <laughs> Imagine this in Oculus Rift. Oh, that looks so You creepy. throw up. You just throw up. You just immediately throw up. Also, yeah. I, my power, I'm still absolutely fine for power. <laughs> Which is interesting. Oh. Uh. Well, okay. Okay, so, so I'm I am going down very slowly now. I'm very far into the mo hole. I don't know also, what my altitude is. It's oh, it's 300 meters now. 330, 320. There's a slightly annoying thing, which is that because of my probe core is sideways, I can't actually accurately see where my um, velocity mark no, is. No, can I. So I've I'm got to kind of eyeball it. Oh, there's some texture. Well, it's not going. the probe core; it's the seat. The seat's facing forwards, so I'm not controlling off the seat. I can't. I can't touch my probe core once control off of it. Oh, don't touch the edge, don't touch the edge. There we go. No. Oh gosh, it's really spinning now. Whoops, started hovering. And now I'm again. going back up. Oh! Oh! oh I heard explosions! Oh, yeah, you exploded. I hit the side. Are you alive? Um, my probe is. Oh, but your um, engines aren't. I've got to race your probe to the bottom then. <laughs> no, this probe's got to survive in order for it to be a uh, completed oh. record. Nope. <laughs> well, you can't land on the side there. Well, I'm thinking that I can maybe, like, trap my legs into the edges. Oh, I was doing so well then. And okay, I'm, I'm as I'm... low as you can get in the mohole. Oh my god, I'm I'm there. I'm, like, two meters off the bottom of the mohole. <laughs> oh, damn you. Harv, I'm spectating you, but uh, it, if I try and switch, it says cannot switch vessels while about to crash. 
It's because I'm below the surface level. Oh, oh, Harv, you're, oh, you're still oh, 600 fire meters fire away. Fire I am, fire I'm fire there. Fire I've blocked it off. I am I'm literally... I'm going to land on your head. You're going to, yeah. Oh my Hopefully. gosh. Oh my gosh. Harv, you're not going to land oh, on my head. You're going to crash into my head. Look at the speed you're going. No, I'm not. I'm slowing down. Slow down. Oh. Speed of relative go. velocity to you. You can be my marker. Ooh, I can see this blue light flickering. Is that yours? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, if I put it into chase mode, <laughs> it just flickers. Luckily, mine's not rotating too fast, actually, now that I'm getting pretty low. My camera isn't. Okay, I'm watching you come down on top of me. Uh, you well, you got down really far. Crikey. I, I told you that extra vernier <laughs> engines would really help. I have so much control. Secretly used hyper edit. Yeah, he's secretly used hyper edit. <laughs> I think if you hyper edit it into the mohole, you die. Yeah, almost. Oh, that's the like... thing. Your lights, they help you see where the walls are. That would have been helpful. Having to yeah. eyeball everything in the dark with a spinning camera. My lights <laughs> weren't hitting the walls for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because of how I've got my lights clipping, but I wasn't actually getting any light on the walls. Uh, I'm getting light. You are. Yeah. I can see your light. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Touch the side. Thank goodness for spectators. Still alive. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go You're going up. up now. I'm going up. It's not my problem. It is my problem. It's not my fault. Maybe. Okay, slowly descending. Slowly. This takes some real damn concentration. This is worthy as the last last episode in the series, I yeah. think. Just don't try and stop completely. That's what made me crash. Oh! oh and that's oh, the camera put, switched. Half, put, your, put your gears away. Put your gears away. I need Something to land. You, you're exploded. never going to land, dude. It's too right. too tight down there. You're too wide. You're the too gears relaxed. are sticky. If you hit the side, they'll flip you over. Oh my gosh. E, you keep exploding. Oh, it's because <laughs> the camera <laughs> is switched. The I'm camera is switched, the so I, all I can see is a spike. Uh, Yay. I'm on top of you. Oh, that's awesome. And you're exploding. Hello. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well, all I can see is explode, 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 explode. Oh, oh it looks it, beautiful. It looks it, it looks, looks so it pretty. Oh, that's so, so cool. Pretty. With all the blue and the pink. Yeah. And now you will spend the rest of your life here. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much for watching our humble little series. I hope you've enjoyed it throughout our many adventures and especially misfortunes. <laughs> you said that just as you exploded again. <laughs> yeah. Misfortunes. I do apologize for any epileptics watching my video. <laughs> <laughs> Half keeps you blinking in and out of existence. Oh dear. You're just jiggling for me. <laughs> Every Chris day I'm somewhere jiggling. Up, somewhere yes, dead. I, I up the I so if I you've liked daylight. the series and uh, in particular this episode of Hilarity. Please, uh, please like, please go around to all the videos and see the different points of view, because this one is another episode where I think we saw slightly different things at some stages. Mm. And with that, it is time to bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching, and we will not see you next time. Stay shiny. Goodbye.